Hi everyone, I have a very interesting one to share with you today, a work and study opportunity in the UK and with the NHS. So this opportunity has been on for a number of years. You will be able to study in the UK and also bring your family and also work at the same time. I find it very interesting because it covers a lot of specialties. So if you're interested in working and studying in the UK at the same time, in a work that we allow you to bring your family when you travel to the UK. This is a perfect opportunity for you. So without further ado, let's go. Hi, Linda Eze here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Linda Eze. I'm a registered nurse and I work in the UK. In this channel, I share information about nursing abroad, getting jobs abroad, health and lifestyle. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so that anytime I come out with a video like this, you will be one of the first people to see it. And for my returning subscribers, I really, really appreciate your support and thank you for always coming back. Okay, so let's get So this video, we are going to be covering what this program is, the benefits of this program who is eligible to apply for this program the requirements for this program and how you can apply I'll be showing you the website and every of the details that you will need for this particular program so if you are interested in any of these things just stay tuned so what is this program about it is called the scientist training program now this program is a three years program for people that are really well qualified and it is going to be leading you to a master's degree okay and at the end of the day you will be able to have that uh, opportunity to register as a clinical scientist in the UK and you will also be salaried as you are working on it is on also on a senior level it is called the band six level that is what you are going to be earning as you are working as well so at the end of the day you are going to have a master's degree you will be able to register as a clinical scientist you will also have an employer and you can also bring your family to the UK. It is really very interesting. So if you go to their website, you'll see the details about these things. So you at the website that it is for well-qualified graduates and it is a part-time master's degree. That's why it is three years and it is fully funded. And then you'll be working in an, with an online e-portfolio and you'll have an assessment at the end of the program. So they have the online program and they also have the work-based program okay the academic learning is delivered and assessed by the university that you are going to be attached to and then the work-based learning also will be where you are working so for the requirements you need to have a 2-1 or above in your master in your your undergraduate degree so if you have a 2-1 or a first class in your undergraduate degree you are eligible for this and also if you have a 2-2 but you also have an additional degree in your field of study like if you have a master's degree already if you have any higher degree but your undergraduate degree was two two they might also accept you okay and if you're a fresher from school and you are yet to receive your your certificate but you are predicting that you're going to do well in your studies then you can provide them with your predicted results and they can also consider you the skills that they will be needing is that that you have a relevant skill in the particular subject you are applying and then if you have a research experience they said it's also an added advantage okay so the degrees that they are accepting now if you have a degree in life sciences physical sciences and physiological sciences okay? so if you are applying from abroad you need to make sure that you are eligible for the skilled worker visa so in my previous videos i usually talk about the skilled worker visas how you can apply the requirements so go ahead and watch those videos but in summary to apply for skilled worker visa is that you need a job offer and you also need to meet the english requirements for that particular visa all the details they are actually in this particular place so you see in the international qualification they said you will need a uk any that's a statement of comparability i have a video where i really explain how you can get this certificate so go ahead and watch that video as well okay but if you don't want to write any english exam you can actually apply when you're applying for the statement of comparability you can go for the one that has to that has english proficiency so if you apply for that part that has english proficiency you can use it for both your statement of comparability and also proving that you have the english proficiency needed for that particular so there are over 50 specialties that you can apply for so you have one in life sciences you have biochemistry biology genetics clinical microbiology and so many of these things that you are seeing they say clinical bioinformatics genomics you have computer science and all of that so in genomic counseling they said that that 
one of the equivalents will be nursing midwifery psychology so if your degree does not include genetic models then they also advise you that you have to like if you are interested in genetics so they have all the details here so another in physical sciences you have you have um, scientific engineering, you have biochemistry, you also have pharmaceutical sciences. So some of you that are pharmacists are asking me whether ph pharmacists are actually accepted in the UK. This is an opportunity for you if you have a very good degree, an undergraduate degree, this is an opportunity for you. So they have the pharmaceutical sciences and they also have clinical engineering, informatics, medical physics, and so many of them. Yeah. In the physiological sciences, they also have engineering, physiology so if you have if you want clinical engineering so so many special specialties what I think is that if you go through these 50 or more specialties you must find one that you actually like so apply for this program you go to the application section they also have it here you go to the application section and then they say you have to make your program to make your your application through Oriel so when you go to that Oriel, they are going to show you exactly everything that they need to know. The deadline is on the 1st of February. Unfortunately, this is coming late, but I believe that if you have all these things that are required, you can still apply before the end of the 1st of February guys please subscribe to my channel and also share the information i always come out with you so i wish you best of luck and i hope you found this inspiring just go ahead and go to this website it has every detail do your own research apply to the best of your knowledge and pray because there's nothing that cannot happen so i wish you the very best and i hope you get this if you are really really interested share with someone that needs this information because the opportunity is for everyone, okay? Share with someone that needs this information and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!